Performing a shut-in test can ensure your canister and flow controller are leak tight prior to sample collection. Use this short video as a guide to help you assemble and properly conduct a shut-in test. If you are not using a flow controller to sample, it is not necessary to conduct a shut-in test. Using a 9 16 wrench, remove the brass cap from the valve and attach the analog gauge. Tighten with your fingers first, then tighten gently with the wrench to ensure it is snug. Next, attach the flow regulator. Tighten with your fingers first, then tighten gently with the wrench. Attach the brass cap to the end of the flow regulator. Tighten with your fingers first, then tighten gently with the wrench. Open the canister valve counterclockwise approximately 1 and 1 quarters turn and leave it open for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. The open canister valve allows the system to equilibrate. By letting the canister equilibrate the dead volume in the tubing between the canister valve and the brass cap, it avoids misinterpreting slight changes in the vacuum as a loose fitting. After the time has elapsed, turn the valve clockwise one quarter with your fingers to close. Monitor the vacuum gauge for approximately three to five minutes. If the vacuum gauge shows a pressure change of more than one inch of mercury per minute, a fitting is loose. Retighten all fittings and continue to monitor the gauge. If the canister retains pressure, it is considered to be leak tight. For additional information, please visit www.alsglobal.com or contact your ALS project manager.